Hey guys and welcome back to episode 16 of wow. Spilling the Tea with m and I actually have a tea. Georgia doesn't need a tea because she's hot enough. <laughs> I'm literally so hot. Like it's actually a joke. I've turned the aircon off specifically for this video. So if I you start to drip through this then you know why. Do you want to say where you are? I'm in Greece. I'm in Rhodes and it is so bloody hot. I mean can't complain about the weather because it's raining at home. I'm sorry I'm it's cold like i'm not even kidding yeah. it's actually cold mum and dad were like it's literally like 15 degrees uh -huh. i've got a tracksuit on and i actually this is how cold it is got home from my nail appointment sat in the car and i was like do you know what i'm gonna sit here and warm up i blasted oh. the heating and sat there until i went inside i was like i'm actually cold that so is crap. crazy can i see your nails mm -hmm. i've what got a present for you what? i got let me show the podcast first oh cute <laughs> Really cute. French tits with um, some chrome on the top. Lovely. So you know you're having some issues with chrome. Yeah. Bit of a backstory. Georgia now goes to a different place to get her nails done, and every single time she asks for chrome, she comes out with like they're just like I don't know if you can see, but they're kind of blue. It kind of looks like you know when there's a spillage of petrol on the floor. Yeah. It's like metallicy. Yeah. Yeah, not what we really want. We want like Hayley Bieber glazed donuts. Yeah, we want what Emma's got, but from far away they look fine. Yeah, it's weird because then I I was catching up on your stories just now, and when you're holding that little pair, I was like, why is your nail blue? Yeah, why is it blue and pink? I'm confused. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> How small are them tiny little pairs? They were literally so small. Yeah, weird. And then the boss ones are huge. I love the foreign shop. You'll probably have a yeah. lovely time. Yeah, um, so good. I have a gift for you from my nail tech. Is it some chrome? <laughs> I love her. About it. She was like, wait before you go, let me just give you oh. some to give to Georgia. So this can come home with you. Oh my god, cute. I love that so much. Thanks, Em. I think it's a um, Lacente one. You can't buy it, but you can probably find okay. something really similar. I'm going to take it next time. Maybe I should just start going to her. <laughs> Please put this one on. All that. <laughs> yeah, be easier. Why are people Bless so her. cute? I literally love I people. They're so nice. Mm -hmm. Last night we went to... St Paul's base, so it's Matt's. We're actually here for my Christmas present, so Matt bought it for me for Christmas. I'm finally getting my Christmas present, but it was his 28th birthday yesterday, so I'd kind of planned like a really cute day. I know, that's scary. That's like adult mm -hmm. age. Um, so we went to St Paul's Bay and went to Tambacchio last night, which is like the most gorge restaurant. Sorry, Em, again. Um, nice. <laughs> we've I'll been find before, and it's like um, one of my favourite restaurants. Like, I'd actually say, like, in the world, like, vibes are immaculate, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, I had like this white ruffle dress on and I was sat having pictures and this woman was like, I just wanted to let you know, like, you look so nice. She was like, you look stunning. And I was like, Aww. oh my God, like, thanks. And then the guy then walked past and he was like, you look really nice too, dude. And said it to Matt. Uh, that's so cute. <laughs> I was like, I love people. <laughs> that, that gives funny. me like, when you got married in Vegas vibes, when literally everyone yeah. was like, you look great, your congratulations. And we were like, these so total good. strangers are literally just like screaming at you. Yeah. It was so good. And then I said to Emma, I was like, how do they know we just got married? And I was in like a white <laughs> feather gown. No, do you know what was weird was when we were in Malibu, everyone was saying about you being on your honeymoon. Yeah, and we were thinking, weird. How, how do you know that? Yeah, that the guy in weird. Starbucks, I had like a cream cord on, didn't I? Yeah. And obviously, it's obviously just like radiating like wedding energy. We all were probably. Yeah. And the guy in Starbucks were like, was like, are you here on honeymoon? And I was like, I mean, no, but yeah. Really weird. So strange. Maybe you get like a wedding glow. Yeah, maybe. I've lost it now. <laughs> no, I'd say you've still got it. Maybe it's sweat. Thanks. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's the SPF and the sweat. I've been using the Garnier spray on. Have you? Yeah. Right. Do you like it? Although this is really weird, but like my ears have like little white like speckles on them. Yeah, I was going to say I felt like it left a bit of a white cast. Bit of a residue. I don't know if I'm spraying it maybe too close or I don't know. Maybe. But it's easy though, isn't it? Because I've just been like doing my skincare and whatever and then just like spraying it over. Spraying it on, yeah. And so far it's not giving me any breakouts, so. Thank God. We both of us have had real struggles with our skin. I feel like yours has very much calmed down, which is good. Yeah, finally, it was so bad at one point. Like this is gross, but I was waking up every morning with like two or three oh. white heads. Like that is me disgusting. Right now. I, I, I am, I am. I don't know why. I've got a spot in my the front of my eyebrow here which both of us will say we're very lucky with our skin usually like i'm not yeah um but right at the front here i literally feel like someone has waxed me in the face oh, you know when it's like so under the skin 
I've yeah. had it for like a week and it won't go. And then, yeah, I keep waking so up with, like, little whiteheads here. And I'm like, what is going on? It's really weird. weird. I was that teenager in high school that, like, literally had perfectly clear skin. Like, I never mm. had a spot ever. And mm. I feel like I've now hit my freaking late 20s. And now I'm getting <laughs> spots. Like, what is with that? I know. I've always, like, if I can't find a makeup wipe, I'll use a freaking baby wipe or a wet wipe. Like, whatever. I'd literally take my makeup off of yeah. whatever. I used to sleep in my makeup. And mm -hmm. I was fine, touch wood and I've maybe it's like screw you guys, have it now. Yeah, maybe. I have um TikTok um shop got me in a chokehold and mm -hmm. this girl posted <laughs> it's so bad, isn't it? It's everywhere at the minute. Yeah. It's really my whole for you page is like buy this, buy this. I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> this girl was like, so I'm on a skincare journey, like my skin's been really bad. She's like, I used to use the um washable pads, you know, like the ones that we've got. And yeah. she said, I stopped using them and I've ordered these from TikTok shop. And they're like, let me, let me go find one. Oh, she literally has them. This background's very cute. It is, isn't it? Mm. They come in a pack. Um, it's like a big box and they're basically like little... Oh, I've seen these. Like disposable flannels. Yeah, like muscle um, box almost. Yeah. And that's what I've been using recently. So I don't know if maybe it's that that's cleared my skin up. It kind of makes sense because they are clean every time. Yeah. Well, she's saying that she's holding them with sweaty SPF fingers. But yeah, there is that. And now just put them on a surface that you can On a table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't use that one. But yeah, maybe it's that. I don't know. Discussions of the week. Okay. Are you caught up on Love Island? I didn't watch last night. Fine. We're at the same point. Okay, fine. So no spoilers, please. So Uma and Will have left. I felt so bad for her. I really liked Uma. I know, and I kind of felt like this year has been me going, it's fixed, it's not fixed, it's fixed, it's not fixed. Yeah, because literally. if it was fixed, they would have said to Ruben, you can't choose Uma. Yeah, I because I wanted to see her. her. To stay. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't mind if Jess and Hugo went, not really fussed yeah. about them. Jesse and Joey can just go and leave and get married at this yeah. point. Like the people that I want to see, Harriet, Ronnie, Uma, Will, they're gone. Yeah, literally. I know. It's Did really you, weird. So, the double, two girls and two boys. Two girls and two boys. When? Have you seen that one? No, I don't think so. You're two, two behind then. Am I? Yeah. Two girls so and two boys went? Yeah. After Will and Uma? Yeah, so the episode after. Wait, let me guess who went then. Okay. Hugo and Jess? Mm-hmm. Thank God. Connor and... Emma. I did see that. I saw on Emma's yeah. Instagram that she's left. Okay. Connor didn't go. Um, oh. Blade. Blade went. Okay. Yeah. God, the Casa people have not made it this year. No, they they're really not. And out. Do you know what? I'm not mad that Blade's gone. I really didn't like mm. him very much. He was painful to watch in a conversation. Yeah. I'm sure he's a lovely guy, but every time I saw him like speaking to Grace, you could tell that Grace was like, mm, yeah, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I just think he's a bit sneaky and obviously like He'd really like talk badly about the boys, hadn't he? And I know like he's in there for a reason. I know like you've got to do what you've got to do, but where's some like boy code? Nowhere. No. Like, as a woman, seen. no one would ever like the girls did not do that to the to the other girls. Jess kind of did. Jess threw um, Matilda under the bus. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah. I think she was just a bit true. jealous though. She just wanted yeah. her away from Hugo. Yeah, I'm kind of glad she's gone. I mean, I think in the last episode I might have called her a bully. Um, <laughs> I mean, Did she's you probably see? never gonna watch this, but I think that's a bit mean of me. But she's just not not my kind of girl at all. No, it made me die because GK Barry's just done a podcast with Harriet, and she was yeah. like, right before we start, I'm gonna make a public apology. I did say I didn't like you. I did say you're not my kind of girl, but actually I now love you. She was like, we I've later. changed my mind. I was like, how uncomfortable with Grace must have been like, her management might have been like, right, we're going to get Harry on. She would be like, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Last week, me and Em went to the PLT showroom in London. Oh, yeah. And we had like a really nice little experience. It was like a half an hour, like gifting suite. Super nice. The girls there are so lovely. Like PLT so girls. So Shout I saw the girl again this week. On Did the you? So oh, yeah, sweet, you went yeah. again, didn't you? Yeah, and she was like, yeah, that's fine. Like, you've got like an hour. Well, she was like, we've got half an hour to an hour, but I really need it back because we've got like a um, private appointment. And we were like, oh, okay, like who who's going? Yeah. And I think you said like anyone fun. And she just said like one of the um, Love Islanders. It was Harriet. We were like, I was that's so Harriet, I'll be so upset. And yeah. it was. I was like, Georgia, check the Instagram story right now. It's freaking Harriet. I was like, damn it. Mad. We're back. 
and I'm on a different camera. <laughs> I hope it's not changed too much. Um, yeah, love Harriet. Mm -hmm. I feel like she's she got, got a lot of hate, didn't she? But great girl. Uh -huh. I mean, never met her, but she could be a not very nice person in real life. But I think she's great. I'm gonna say she's a great girl. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you think Will would have left if you might left? No. Not one bit. Hundred percent not. No. I do think he likes her, but I don't think he's like really like fully into her. Okay. What do you think? Oh, it's so difficult. I feel like he would have felt like he had to, whether he would have yeah. really deep down wanted to, wanted I'm not to. sure. Yeah. Because he said to her on the day bed, like, if you left right now, I would leave. So you can't really say something like that. Yeah. Like she would, after all he's done, mm -hmm. and like she'd been so upset for this long, and then if she ended up leaving and then he turned around and said, well, I don't want to leave you, she literally would have been so done. Yeah, So agreed. if he wants anything to do with her, mm -hmm. then he would have had to have. Yeah. When, um, when Umar and Will left, I thought this is brilliant because I thought it would give Emma, like, the push in the right direction to then chat to Ruben. But I feel like she's yeah. just not had that. Like, I feel like she's not been given enough time. No, which is sad. sad. But then I think, again, it's because she's a Casa girl. But it's difficult yeah. because I think she then did say, but now I feel like second best, which is so true. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Everyone knows that realistically he chose Umar. Like, how embarrassing for him. He was stood there and he went, Umar, and then she just went, see ya. <laughs> she started, like, bawling. Like, tears were literally rolling down Before. her eyes. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Mental. Movie night was savage. Savage. The way they did this year. Yeah. They were like, you're not picking, we're just going to show you basically your worst bits. Yeah, it was I so good. I believe it. It was great. I yeah. think Sean's a little sly. I feel like he really fumbles his own bag. Like, he yeah. just messes himself up so but like did he really want to kiss Diamante when they were in Casa? Like no, I think like, he was just he doing it for effect. I think as well, like he seems really easily led by the other boys and the other boys, especially Joey, was like egging him on. Like Joey mm. knows how to make good TV, we've said it before, but like he hundred percent knows how to make good TV. Yeah, I feel like now he's basically found a wife, that's all he's in there yeah. for is just to like make drama happen. Yeah, I'm surprised. Maybe he's got like a tactical game. Maybe this is like how he's gonna get to the final. I don't know. I don't know, but like, does he? Because they win money. Like, he doesn't need the money. Yeah. Why is he here still? No idea. I think Jesse's really sweet. I think the Jess that I owns with is really sweet. Yeah. I do feel like she probably should have backed away from Mimi a bit sooner. Mimi was obviously mm. very like, please get out of my face, and yeah, she was just agreed. trying to be nice, but. I think she was trying to be too nice. You haven't watched last night then, have you? No. Because obviously at the minute, Io and Mimi are still freaking chatting and I'm like, you can't keep doing this. Yeah. Yeah. If I was Mimi, I wouldn't trust him. No, I think it's very much that he still has feelings for Mimi. He made that quite clear. How can this change in literally 24 hours? Like, I know. This week so much has happened and it's, mm -hmm. I get that they say like a day in there is literally like a week, but yeah. on another level. Mm-hmm. How much like of an impact it probably has on the villa that now like over two days six people have gone? Yeah, that's wild. That is nuts, isn't it? And all the people I wanted to see. I know. Sad time. It is good though. I am enjoying it this year. It's like yeah. savage. What does your week look like then? What day is it? Friday? Is it Friday? It's Friday, yeah. I am um, heading to London with Mum today. Oh, to cute. Is see... this Kylie Minogue? Yeah, go and see Kylie Minogue tomorrow. <laughs> um, she knows more about the support acts than I do. She's like, there's these DJs, they're on TikTok. And I'm like, I'm so Aww. unaware. So we're gonna go and see them. <laughs> That'd be cool. And then, yeah, we're just, we're gonna have a chilled night tonight, just get like room service and stuff. Nice. And concert tomorrow, home on Sunday for the final. I know, can you believe it? We're actually no. in Euro's <laughs> final, like WTR. I just love that we all know so much about football right now. Like, I'm <laughs> yeah. a football manager. I'm a football girly. <laughs> we were in a bar and um, when we were watching England versus, who did we play? Netherlands? Yes. Yeah. And yeah, it was just like proper good vibes. We were in Falaraki of all places. <laughs> Probably the best place to be to be fair. Yeah. We got chatting to one of the guys yesterday and they were like, the only place you need to watch the football is Falaraki. So I was like, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. like, we're just going to go there for the finals. Love that. So Have good. you rented a car? Yeah. Nice, We've got a around. lovely little red Suzuki Swift. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> She's gorge. <laughs> that was like when we were away, we were like, right, cheap as possible. I Brad was like, I've never even heard of the like model of car. It was some kind of Fiat. And he was like, I've literally never even heard of Doesn't it. Matter. But he got into first gear yeah. and get cheap for me to do. 
<laughs> yeah, it's so slow. We're on like big roads and it's like, like when you're going, going up a so hill, slow. you're like, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna roll back. Um, <laughs> so I've got a dinner reservation tonight at, oh, I can't remember the name. It's like a restaurant in Old Town and then it comes to like 9.30 and it turns into like a bit of a party. There's like fire, oh. fire dancers and all that jazz. Um, that's tonight. And oh. then we want to do a day at St Paul's Bay. Um, and then yeah, just nothing really. Like it's quite nice like this. I've planned like the first few days, and as we go, we just like keep planning. But we're staying nice. in like a little, um, like little bungalows. We've got like a communal pool out there, and it's so lovely. Oh, really? like, yeah, I would say like inside here, it does need some updating. But I feel like Greece is like that, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's clean it's and so everything's chill. nice, but like there's a shower curtain. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. If that touches you, game over. <laughs> <laughs> but like the aesthetics, as you can see, it are lovely, Gosh. and the outside is so nice. There's like six bungalows. We're literally the only ones at the pool. Um, but yeah, uh -huh. Matt obviously booked it, and I hadn't even seen. Well, I'd seen pictures on Christmas Day, um, and then I hadn't looked at it since we walked in. And the guy was like, "Is it like the pictures?" And I was like, "I don't know. Is it? I you tell know. me." <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere it's got like a little QR code to like scan for their social media. So I think they're probably trying to like build on it a little bit. Fair. And he said, like, if you take any pictures or anything, like, tag me. I was like, okay. There's one here. Oh, Show your photos. Oh, how funny. Yeah. Well, we might as well keep this one short and sweet so Georgia can go enjoy her holly yeah, bobs and I need to go and pack for London. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next week's episode will be over on Georgia's channel. She's this way. I will leave our Instagrams on the screen if you want to go and follow us over there. But we'll speak to you very soon in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.